Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we are going to discuss Kruskal Wallis edge test. Kruskal Wallis edge test is a non parametric method for testing whether samples are originated from the same distribution or not. Basically, it is an extension of the Mann Whitney U test. In case of Mann Whitney U test, we are able to compare two groups. But in case if the uh, groups are more than two, we go for Kruskal Wallis edge test. The null hypothesis of the kruskal wallis test is that the mean ranks of the groups are the same. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in SPSS. We will be considering the data file, which is employee data, which is available in the samples folder of SPSS. It will be available on your system also. I'll click on data view. You can see here the salary is there. I want to compare the average salary according to the job category. Let me see the codes also. So I'll click here. One is clerical, two is custodial, three is managerial. Click OK. Now you go and analyze non-parametric test legacy dialogues and click on K independent samples. Transfer salary. We'll be using the non-parametric test when, when we assume that the data comes from non-normal distribution. The parametric version of Kruskal Wallis edge test is ANOVA. So, in case if your data is not normally distributed, we can use the Kruskal Wallis edge test. Now, I'll transfer job category here. I'll define the range 1 and 3. 1 is clerical, 2 is custodial, 3 is managerial. Continue. Click OK. I have got the results. I copied the results in the Word file for the interpretation. My research hypothesis are average salaries are unequal. I'll convert this into the statistical hypothesis, which is population medians are equal. Alternative popul population medians are not equal. Before we see the first table, we have to interpret something from the second table, which is the p value. You can see here the asymptote significant, significant value is 0, 0.00. So we will write the interpretation as as the p-value of the Kruskal Wallis edge test is 0, 0.00, which is less than 5% level of significance. So we reject null hypothesis, which means that the population medians are not equal. The output indicates the result with the correction for the ties and z-score was significant. As a mean rank of the current salary for managerial, you can see here the mean rank is 427.85. For custodial, it is 278.98. And for clerical, it is 190.37. This means that the average salary of manager is quite higher than the custodial and the average salary of the custodial is higher than the clerical. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button.